Hello, and welcome back to Rift Wizard. Here I go again. Here I do again. We're doing it. Um, people have been giving me a lot of really helpful advice and tips, and I really appreciate it. I know that uh, probably, well, I, I don't, I hesitate to say this, but I think that probably content for Rift Wizard is uh, sparse, to put it, you know, mildly. Um, but like, you know, so I guess what I'm getting at is I'm sorry <laughs> that like, uh, I know that you're looking for Rift Wizard content and, and I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm trying to provide, but I also know I'm not very good at the game still. So it is what it is. Um, I, I do enjoy the game and I'm looking to get better eventually. But, uh, you know, people have been very encouraging. You know, I, something I, uh, something that someone said that I really appreciate is it's not just that I'm bad at the game. It's that the game is also very hard. <laughs> and, you know, I, I don't think that there is enough of that. Um, you know, it's, it's tempting, it's tempting to expect a lot from people. And it's like, if you like a game, you should be absolutely, like, perfect at it. A master of the game but it's it's a, not an easy thing to manage so um, I'm gonna address something right away uh, someone was saying if I'm very clever with this teleport I can possibly uh, get enough like get all of our SP right away I'm gonna try this I don't think that it's a great idea if I'm being honest because I don't know what I would spend that extra um, 3 SP on, but we're gonna try here. We're gonna lure our goblins over here And then we're gonna teleport here, and then we're gonna go grab The rest of the SP. So now we have 4 SP to spend I'm gonna try this once as a gimmick, but I'm probably not gonna make this a something You know part something that I do often because I don't think it's worth it because I actually genuinely don't think that level four spells are necessarily worth taking right away uh and that's basically that's the only thing i would consider taking i think that um level four spells are good uh i think higher level spells are good but and this is a heavy but um i think that they're good with a build i think that you need to build into higher level spells and you know, the thing about um, Rift Wizard, Rift Wizard is a game about the build. It is the build, and it is about the snowball, and you have to figure out how to snowball. And I think that in a weird way, it's sort of like, um, I think you do basically have to care, uh, build a rainbow. I, I know that's going to sound weird, but that's going to be my mentality when it comes to Rift Wizard, is I'm building a rainbow. What do I mean by that? Well. I mentioned in a previous uh, episode that when you're building in Rift Wizard, you want to cover all your bases. You don't want to have just an AoE spell. You don't want to have just a single target spell. You don't want to have just a summoning spell. You don't want to have just anything. Um, you have to cover all of your bases. You got to have a little bit of everything. And I also think that that is true for the elements as well, for these guys because certain enemies are going to be weak to some things and not weak to other things and if you're doubling and tripling down on one element it's going to make things difficult but here's the key is every single spell in this game covers more than one element right nothing is one color nothing is a single color in this game everything is a little bit of a mixed bag and so basically what we're doing is when we pick our first spell we're picking the first color in our rainbow and we're going to take other spells that also match some of those colors so that we can synergize but also uh, kind of carry to the next color and the next color and hopefully uh, not just the colors of representing elements but the colors representing spell types so you know things like uh, aoe summons uh, passive damage active damage things like that so I think when you're building and this is gonna be my attempted philosophy for the next little while is that when you're building um, yes you're thinking about like well what kind, what kind of multiple spells can I take that are like of the same type but also um, how can I build into the next type as well 
And it doesn't just work for elements and spell types, it also works for levels, like different uh, degrees of spells. We could take something, I mean, we could take something like this. Like, you know, I, I, I look at charges for our first spell, and I, like I said, I am gonna try this for our first, you know, as a gimmick, like what, what would happen if we took an insanely high level spell for our first spell. But like, look at all of these. All of these spells are like three charges, six charges, four charges, two charges, 10 charges, but then it works only for allies. So like that, that spell is meant to, to be paired with something else. Uh, nine charges deals 19 lightning or 17 lightning damage and 17 dark damage to the target. That's a single target spell, not necessarily what we want. Uh, 12, swap the polarity of the resistances of a group of units. This is a really nice spell. I should uh, kind of pin that. I wish there was a way to, to pin spells like, yeah, this is gonna be useful uh, for me, maybe later. So I don't think that taking a level four spell is gonna be a good idea. I think maybe a level two spell if we're being kind, but I don't know. The teleport all units, that's a translocation spell. That's not gonna be useful for us for a while. Deal nine damage to all units in a cone. I like Fan of Flames. Fan of Flames is a good spell. I like that it can be channeled. Someone was telling me channeling a spell is free. And uh, if you use uh, just the wait command, that then that channeling happens for free, basically. Uh, healing light, maybe, I don't know. See, uh, I feel like even though I've gotten all of our SP, I, I, I kind of just wanna take some level one spells. The level one spells are great because they all give you a high number of charges and then they are basically, you know, situationally useful in, any situation like they are your bread and butter um, I don't think there's anything wrong with taking them like multiple level one spells um, so at this point why don't why don't we do uh, this well we're gonna have a look at our rifts so we're gonna have uh, both of them are offering health so we can't really plan around any specific element which is fine because you know what that means is uh, I'm gonna take death bolt I'm sorry I like death bolt a lot Death Bolt's like my favorite spell, favorite starting spell. I think that Lightning is my favorite build, um, but Death Bolt is my favorite spell. Just, just for starting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yo, Skeleton, Ske Skeleton, you are headed in the wrong direction. Wow, I didn't expect all those goblins to die. Okay, this uh, Skellington is doing some pretty good damage. And then he's gonna go ahead and kill our last dude for us. And then we're gonna hit A. Oh, there's no other spells. Oh, uh, there was a third rift I didn't notice. And it also is offering health and troll crown. So I'm gonna wanna take uh, this one. Although this one has uh, green mushrooms, but bats and goblins are fine. I don't think they're resistant to anything. Uh, bats are not and goblins are not this is a very open area but that's okay because uh, nothing is ranged I don't think a death on death applies 12 turns of poison to adjacent units we're gonna have to be careful about that but there's nothing that's gonna spawn mushrooms we just have goblin gates and uh, bat gates so Robin to the bat gate let's just get, get in the car get in my very expensive car okay um so I kind of want to just roll through here with my death bolt again. This T T is just trying to. It's been a few days since I played this, so I have to refamiliarize re myself. I'm just gonna drop myself right on that health. And can we reach anything? No, we can't. These guys are HP 11, so I can't really use a death bolt on them. Although it's nine damage. Probably we do want to do that actually. Because then they'll be, uh, they'll be, oh, they're not living, right? I always forget the details. The details matter, of course. So uh, we really don't want to get poisoned, but it looks like that's what's going to happen soon enough. Because these skeletons are chasing down the mushrooms, but they're not exactly catching them. Okay. Now we at least have one space 
between us and the hush boom. Okay. Listen, I have a I have a an aversion to uh, getting hit with poison. It, it it happened to me once, and it was really not a good time. Dying to poison is really rough. I'm not saying we're going to. We have tons of health. Um, but man, that was that was a really rough uh, game to lose. Cause like it was one of the few times where oh, hey, I can you know like I actually have healing potions and I'm gonna be smart enough to use them. And then and then I couldn't. It's not even that I was you know I played smart and I still lost. That's the worst. I know there is a spell which will heal you or unpoison you. Hey, we're, we just barely used all of our death bolt. Um, wow, these rift choices are not great, huh? Ruby heart and then ruby heart again. Uh, we're going to have to use a, a mana potion pretty soon. I do wouldn't mind um, taking... You know what I'm gonna say, right? You know, you know what I'm going to say. Learn skill. Oh no, I guess what I was gonna say is I wanted to take soul battery, but we can't afford soul battery. Battery, so I really like soul battery. Um, what to, someone was telling me about something specific, a specific skill. Your summoned undead units gain hunger. Deal seven damage to a target up to three tiles away, healing the caster for all damage dealt and has three turn cooldown. Interesting, I don't remember seeing that one. Unholy Alliance, whenever you summon an undead or demon, if you control a holy unit, the newly summoned unit gains seven damage. Um, okay, that's interesting. If we could also get holy units, this would be very worth it. Random unacidified enemy is acidified. Every turn. Acidified units lose poison resistance. That's an interesting one. Uh, if I wanted to do a poison build, that would be really worth it. Each turn, deal two damage to the sum total of all poison damage dealt to all units to the nearest enemy as dark damage. Whenever an enemy dies to dark damage, up to three random enemies in line of sight of that enemy are stunned. That would be kind of nice because then I could like use death bolt on an enemy and then the enemies near it would be stunned uh, and then our, our whatever I summon would would be able to kill. Cast a dark spell if your next spell is a holy spell of a lower level that spell's cost is refunded. Whenever you cast a holy spell if your next spell is a dark spell of a lower level that spell's cost is refunded. This would be kind of neat because then we could take a holy spell and uh make death bolt free every time you get plus one lightning damage for each undead ally you control i really like bone guard it's a, one of my favorite spells pa i guess this is a skill isn't it this is a the, the it, something i am a little bit self-conscious about is how much time i spend looking at skill spell descriptions and i mean like building a, a you know something it, something in this game is really difficult um, so I, I have to kind of like weigh my options which means a lot of reading and weighing in a menu whenever an enemy takes dark damage and fire damage in the same turn summon a burning ghost near that enemy I'm not sure how to make this work I I actually I watched uh, in a roguelike um, celebration um, I watched the the dev of this game play it and they ma somehow made this ghost fire uh, work in such a way that it's summoned a ridiculous number of ghost fire every single turn basically everything that died created more ghost fires but I'm not sure how they did it so I don't know let's try um, let's just look at fire for a moment ghost fire whenever you cast an, a fire or arcane spell gains star charged whenever you fire, cast a fire spell with range uh, each level was surrounded by friendly hellhounds. Have fiery bodies and deal four fire damage. I don't know how you would make something take fire and dark damage at the same time. That's That seems really difficult. Burning ghosts have a range attack which deals seven fire damage with a five tile range. They also disappear. 
If you control a holy unit, the newly summoned unit can I kinda wanna take this and then take um uh there's a there's a holy spell, a low level holy spell that summons um units, choir of angels. I guess it's not that low level. So I could take this. It's very you get very few charges, however. There is there not a lower level one? Choir of Angels, that's the one. I only get five charges with that, and they disappear after 10 turns. That's brutal. So, uh, call Seraph, deals fire damage and holy damage. We could get that. Um, lightning, fire. Lightning damage to enemies and shield allies. Uh, interesting. 77 HP. The nice thing about this is that, like, when they're almost dead, I could probably possibly use Death Bolt to turn them into a skeleton. They don't have resistance to dark, so I could then turn them into a, a 77 HP skeleton. That is if they are about to die. They disappear in four turns, so that's not necessarily an easy thing to accomplish. Holy fire. Oh, there we go. 22 damage in a vertical line and 22 holy damage in a horizontal line. So we could take this and then build into that uh, fire and holy. Was it fire and holy or was it fo uh, fire and dark? It was fire and dark, wasn't it? Ghost fire. Yeah, it was fire and dark. Hmm... Whenever an enemy dies to dark damage, up to three random enemies in a line of sight. I don't know. Kind of want to just take, like, Bone Guard, because at least I understand Bone Guard. Well, we could do um, Eye of Fire. And then if we time it right, then we could deal fire damage and dark damage on the same turn. So we could do something like that. That actually isn't a terrible idea. All right, let's take something like that. We'll learn. We'll learn that, and I'm gonna. I don't have a lot of um, spells left, so I might have to use a mana potion. So we can get more health, but we're gonna be fighting Gotias. Gotias are what resistant to dark? Yeah, exactly. Our worst nightmare. They are not resistant to holy though. These guys cause poison damage, applies five poison for five turns. That's brutal. They have nine uh, health, perfect for our uh, death bolt. So I might, I think what I'll do is I'm gonna have to use a mana potion, unfortunately. To, you know, it's early to use it, but I, I kind of have to. And then we're gonna, we're gonna summon here. We're gonna create a, oh, do they just teleport? 10% chance to blink to a random tile up to eight tiles away. So they're, they're coming. They're coming very quickly. All right, so now we're gonna use Eye of Fire. So um, will we know when Eye of Fire is about to be applied is the thing. Will we have to time it? Does it work three turns from when we cast it? Has it now worked once? <laughs> now I have many questions. Um, so we're gonna create another uh, skeleton there. Okay, so it just worked right now. So that is at 27. So that means at 26, 25, 24. So it, when I'm at 25, that's that means the next turn it's going to work again. So on this next turn, it will work again, right? Well, I guess there wasn't an, uh, a creature in r line of sight, so makes sense. Does that mean as soon as something is in line of sight, it will work? Yes. So that means when this is at 29, sorry, 19, it will work again on the next turn. Yes. So knowing that, um, Knowing that we can we can plan for doing death bolt, but we don't have the skill that makes that happen. What would it take to to buy that spell? Ghost fire. We could buy it now. 
Okay, so when this is at tw seven or sixteen, we could, we want to cast a spell. So, okay, set sixteen, but this is gonna be uh, at a random to a random enemy, so we don't know if we're going to be able to make this work. So we're just hoping that it works. It was that guy over there, apparently. But that being said, we can we can start to plan a little bit. So when this is at 13, we want to cast our next spell. We're just like casting spells across the map. So now when this is at 12, we're going to want to cast our next death bolt. Um, sorry, it is at 12. When it's at 10. All right. It, we really like casting spells at that one random goat head over there. All right, so when it's at seven, we're gonna cast another spell. We didn't quite get lucky there. So now when it's at four, we're almost out of charge here. That, that was it. We did cast a spell on that, on that goat, but it didn't seem to work. How, how, why didn't it work? An enemy takes dark damage and fire damage in the same turn. Summon a burning ghost near that enemy. I'm not. I'm not sure. I understand. Hmm. Okay. I thought I did exactly that. I thought I ma made the magic happen. Okay, we're gonna try again. We're gonna cast Eye of Dark. Then we're just gonna use Firebolt. The the what we could do is um, check what is in line of sight. Nothing is in line of sight to us right now, so we can just kind of move. Oh, that that is of course. Nope. All right, nothing's in. All right, never mind. I, I gotta. I should stop saying nothing is because apparently something is. I, do these little dots? These the status effect blood rage. They have blood rage. I'm not sure what that means. Does that mean they're attacking each other? So that should have worked there, and I, I, I guess I'm not understanding how this combo works. I thought I understood, but it's it's since it's not working so consistently, <laughs> then uh, yeah, apparently I still have a lot to learn, you know? Those goat heads seem to explode when uh, I hit them. Alright, so we're good for the floor. I, I, you know, I tried an experiment. It didn't work. Um, but that's okay. We've got a hundred health now, max health. Propagation. Enhance spell with cascade range number of targets. Interesting. That sounds really good. Then there's the holy circle. So we could go holy. And then we could get the choir. Um... The problem is, is that we've taken ghost fire. That was a pretty expensive skill. Takes dark damage and fire damage in the same turn. I really thought I had that figured out. So we're, we're doing passive fire damage in line of sight. Maybe I just haven't gotten lucky yet. We could try and take another dark spell. Let's uh, let's look at dark spells and see if maybe there's a passive dark spell. Deal 200 damage in one to one unit in melee range. No, that isn't. Maybe we need a. You know what? Maybe what we need is another fire spell instead. But I guess the only thing we have available to us in the next turn is going to be holy. So let's look at holy spells that I might want to take. Deals 27 da holy damage to dark and arcane units within a one tile range. F 
fire damage in a vertical line and holy damage in a horizontal line. This would be good if it could also, we could also do some dark damage. Choir of Angels. Then we could also, we could look at holy skills instead. Like Unholy Alliance, for instance. Whenever you summon an undead or demon, if you control a holy unit, the newly summoned unit gains seven damage. So this would be good. Um, and there's Fury Judgment. Half of all fire damage you or your minions deal is redealt as holy damage. This would be good if I could figure out how to get that them them ghosts them ghost summoned. But that doesn't seem to be happening. Uh whenever an enemy takes holy damage, it has a 50% chance to be stunned. I need I think I just need to figure out how to get this this uh, skill to work. All allied units gain stacking. If there's a way to like buff our units with do fire damage. Summon a fire elemental at the target of that spell. Fire elementals have resist. You know what I think we should do is we should go to the cascade propagation shrine. I'm not sure how to make that work, but we can try and figure it out. Limit one shrine per per spell. Enhance this spell. It doesn't say, doesn't really seem to have a limit. This is a really risk. It might even end the run, but I, I need to see if any of our spells, yeah, none of our spells can be improved at this shrine. So that means we should, we need to take a spell that works with it. But what, um, what would propagate, what would cascade? Okay, so like something like chain lightning would cascade. Uh, is there... That's lightning or sorcery. I wonder if there's any dark spells that would cascade. Not that that matters, because we should um, branch out a little bit. Is there any fire spells that cascade? Duration, minion range, minion range. Radius, damage. I don't think so. I wish there was a way to filter spells that have a certain effect. What about holy spells? I'm just looking at the upgrades. That's really all I'm looking at. Um, charges, lives, blind casting, minion summons, maybe plague of filth. Uh, I tried plague of filth, didn't I? <clears throat> Duration, Mercurial Vengeance. Deal 11 damage to enemy unit in a one tile radius. Summon ghosts at empty tiles in the radius. For 4 HP fly, resistance, have a melee attack which deals one dark damage. This could actually be good. Um, because if we could make ghost ball, we could summon ghost ball which would mean we're doing more dark damage which means we have a higher chance of doing dark and fire damage so it might be the ghost balls what we wanted to to make something like that work um i'm sorry i'm just i am trying to like balance a lot of stuff at once here i'm not seeing anything that has cascade so i might just i'm, I'm gonna take death uh, ghost ball even though it doesn't work uh, I wanted to check the shrine, but I wasted a turn instead. So we're going to cast um, Eye of Fire. And then we're going to cast Ghost Ball. So that's going to ensure we're doing more dark, dark damage on the field. So maybe we don't have to worry so much about doing dark damage ourselves. Um, this guy is resistant to what? Arcane? Is our Death Bolt Arcane? No, it's Sorcery. So we should be able to turn this guy into a Skeleton, except he's not living. And he did seem to resist our spell. I'm not sure why. We're out of Death, ball, uh, death Bolt. There's a lot of uh, minions on the screen, so that means we're, our uh, Eye of Fire is not going to work so well. Um, 
Might, I'm gonna use a mana potion. These ghosts are, are interesting, but they, they're pretty weak. Are these guys living? They are living, so they'll make nice skeletons. That is if I can manage to do a damage to them. What is happening? Are they healing? Yeah, they do heal every... Uh, all units within two tiles, eight HP. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a problem. They are, like, r doing ridiculous health regen. <laughs> If I could just kill one of them, that would make a difference. Oh, look at that. We've got some burning ghosts on the field. Check that out. I managed to make make it happen. So we just need to fill the field with more ghosts and then maybe we'll get more ghosts. Yeah, that's, that's how we do it. Because now the ghosts are doing dark damage and the burning ghosts are doing fire damage. So there's a better chance of spawning more burning ghosts. So there, there we go. We, we kind of figured it out. Um, okay, we need to kill that dude with a death bolt. This will turn into a skeleton. There's a, this is a barrage of, of nightmares. But it is, it's working. I, I can't believe it's working, but it is working. More, some more burning ghosts. They disappear, so we gotta make sure we spawn more if we can. Honestly, I'm just gonna pass a turn. Okay, all right, this is, this was kind of a nightmare, but it worked. The burning ghosts are gonna disappear, but that's okay. Look at that. It actually worked. We managed to clear the floor. I can't believe it. That was really scary. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with the shrine unless I buy another spell. It feels like only chain lightning kind of works with this spell. I'm not sure what other ones would work. I'm not going to buy anything right now. Uh, Ruby Heart. Enhances arcane spell with damage enemies gain a non-stacking negative 25 fire lightning and ice resist. Oh, interesting. That would be really good for me because I'm doing fire damage. Um, but I'd have to do it. I guess I'd put it on my ghost ball if I could. But that one we'd have to fight living scrolls, ogres, ravens, a lot of things that are tough for us. Increases health, increases health. Lots of teleports on that one. Ice circle. Ice spells, spell upgrades, and passive skills are one SP cheaper here. Um, Unfortunately, we'd have to fight Spriggans, which suck for us. Ghosts, which also suck. And Fury Tormentors, which kind of suck. They're not living. Nothing, nothing on this is... Like, this is the perfect storm to destroy us. Um, kind of thinking... I don't know. Steel spiders are not living, so they're not. That's going to be a problem. And then fire imps and firestorm imps are also going to be an issue for us. So yeah, I'm thinking rift, uh, the the innervation shrine. Of course, I know that um, ghost ball is not an arcane spell, so we'd have to take an arcane spell that we would want to cast that would somehow combo with our business. Not necessarily an easy thing to, to do. Um, all right, this is a good starting zone here to kind of get things going, but I am going to take a mana potion before we, before we do this. I wonder if it would be worth casting Eye of Fire before we enter. I don't know. Okay, now we cast... Ghost ball, and then hopefully we just need this to happen like once. Ghost 
ghost ball in there. Uh, did I just waste it? I think I did. So, uh, I'm still not sure how this works because it doesn't seem to happen like consistently. Those guys are resistant to dark, by the way. These guys are living, but they have, and they have a ton of health, so it, it, this is doable. We need to figure out how to do more passive fire on the field. I guess um, these ghosts do, since they do dark damage, um, that means that we have dark damage on the field, so we just need to figure out how to do more fire damage. Uh, we are almost dead, so I'm going to use a healing potion. It, it doesn't look like it's going to happen this time. Uh, in fact, I think I'm, I'm going to die. Bag of spikes, which they all spawn in like the worst location ever. All right, this is uh, this is GG. GG. I mean, I managed to make the, the, the whole, like, burning ghost thing happen exactly once. I don't think that that's a spell I, I want to try and make work for me, if I'm being honest. I'll, I'll use my healing potions, but I, I really don't think that there's anything I can do here. Excuse me. How come I can't use Death Bolt on this guy? I don't understand. All right, well, whatever. That, uh, it was almost a run. It was, there's something, there's something interesting happening there, but, uh, yeah, it, it didn't. <laughs> Um, if you enjoyed this or maybe you wanted to want to give me a hint as to how to make that burning ghost combo work Definitely let me know in the comments and maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing if you're new to my content And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one. Thanks for watching